Hey, what's up guys? This is Foyam again, back with a new Minecraft Dungeons video. Are you tired of endlessly farming for items which you're gonna have to throw away in the end just to activate the ancient hunts? Or maybe you're just sick of farming for those Gilded Fighters bindings with the perfect enchantments for your build after all those weeks. Well guys, this video is gonna be perfect for you. Introducing the Ancient Rush, a very unblessed and overpowered mod to get your hands on pretty much any perfect Gilded item in the game and all this by just walking to a pillar activate a series of waves of exactly the bob that you need in order to get that sweet loot well guys let's check it out right now before we get started i just want to give a quick shout out to every single member who is currently supporting the channel you guys are the best. I mean, you helped me to realize my dreams of doing YouTube full-time. It's very much appreciated. I love you. Of course, if you enjoy watching my content but aren't a member yet, you should definitely check out the join button below this video because right there you can see all the exclusive perks which you're gonna get your hands on if you become a member, but there's a lot more coming your way, so definitely make sure to check it out. Already a big thanks. Alright, so guys, here we are in the base camp on my main character, level 1189 and of course also over 1000 enchantment points, which we got our hands on in one of my previous videos. I mean, you can see it right here, power level 252. If you also want to get your hands on tons and tons of enchantment points, levels in no time, really guys, it only takes you 5 minutes to do this tactic, just check out the link in the top right of the screen. This crazy glitch on the Hidden Devs DLC will allow you to get here in no time. Anyways, right now guys, it is time to check out the Ancient Rush. This is a mod which you can only install on the PC, unfortunately not for the consoles, but you can definitely ask one of your friends on the PC to farm for a certain item which you're gonna need for your build. I just want to stress out that I haven't used this uh, mechanic myself. I mean, you can see that I still have the regular unique items right here and only one unique Gilded Fighters bindings with some pretty nice enchantments, but you can get any enchanted item in the game with some very overpowered combos to um, snowball your way through the highest apocalypse plus difficulties. So this mod is very easily installed. The link is in the description. If you don't know yet how to install mods, of course, I already made videos for that, but um, this actually brings us to the nether wastes. This pretty much um, swaps that level with um, the mod level. And right now, let's just, check it out on the lower difficulty higher apocalypse plus level 7 plus 15 and start the mission so this one looks like it's bringing us to the nether ways but we're actually gonna spawn in a room with many different pillars so right now we have a button right there if we push this one the level actually gets completed instantly we will even get an artifact for that it even helps for the blacksmith upgrades which is very overpowered but this is pretty much all that you need right here guys push the button to exit but then right here you have the select and get close to the pillar inside four clockwise from top to left right now you can um, see exactly which ancient mobs you can summon uh, with the inner pillars and then the outer pillars they will also um, show all these guys clockwise so if we stand on the outer ring from um, the top left exactly right there this pillar will actually summon in the unbreakable one and um, if we go to the inner pillar that's actually the big guys right here in the middle um, you can um, see that's the Uzin menace that's the ancient terror the abominable reaver and then of course also the frost warden so um and the very end, the last pillar, which you have right there, you can actually summon in a pack of loot picks, which is extremely crazy as well. So let's just start off by doing this, because you guys are probably pretty curious how this is going to work out. Sometimes the pillars are a little bit glitchy, but uh, you're just going to have to stand pretty close to them. Just click around a little bit. And um, right now, the summoning happened right there but uh, we don't see any boss bars right here no hp bars that means this is the loot pick level so if we walk in through this room where of course we will usually find all those bad guys well right now we only have the loot picks and we can just start killing these for loot so um usually they drop drop super crazy items but uh, let's just uh, kill a couple of them and uh, of course we will have a chance of finding some uniques Look at that. Only normals right now. So uh, we are extremely lucky. But of course, imagine doing this with um, your um, 
luck of the sea armor. We only found one right there. Well, you'll be able to find plenty and plenty of items. So uh, look at that, guys. We already found a ton of new things, which we can disenchant for some uh, new um, emeralds. But uh, let's just do that once again, because um, I think we can have a higher chance of finding uniques, right? Let's just equip my um, armor right here with the, the luck of the sea enchantment on it. And of course, also the cowardice, since we're still on full HP. And uh, oh man, this is gonna rain uniques for us. I am 100% certain about it. Okay, for some reason the pillar doesn't want to work, so what I'm going to do is just finish the level by clicking this button, get my hands on an artifact and restart the level, because sometimes it can be a little bit buggy, but guys, seriously, this is so overpowered. If you want to upgrade items at the blacksmith, because right now we just get teleported back to camp, and of course we get our hands on a chest right here with a random artifact. So bam, look at that, a wind horn. Right now we can just go back to the level, other dimensions, nether wastes, and um, let's just do this on a lower difficulty once again. Guys, I'm gonna show you the ancient mobs very soon, but first I just wanna get my hands on some items right here because, oh man, it's so awesome to see all these uniques popping up, man. Look at that, that's already the second unique right there, third unique, fourth, fifth, no, fourth unique. One, two, three, and we have number four right there. Oh man, this is so crazy. So this is just um, unique items, right? We don't find any ancient items with this one, but uh, you can already tell that uh, this is pretty much everything we found all the way to the squid armor in just a couple of seconds by killing these bad boys. So I'm just gonna equip my uh, verted robe right here because uh, you know that um, the luck of the sea pretty much bugs the ancient mob loot. So um, right now I am gonna, let's say, um, summon in the mushroom monstrosity. So we have a chance of finding the unique Gilded Fighters bindings. This is um, after the Grim Guardian, so uh, let's just count together, guys. Outside, clockwise, this is also going to be useful for you. So uh, we're going to start at the top left. So um, that's going to be the breakable one. Then we have the Tower, the Tiny Scourge, the Pestilent Conjurer, the Vigilant Scoundrel, wait a second, um, Haunted Caller, Barrage, the Seeking Flame, Grim Guardian, and then right after that, right here, we have the Mushu Monstrosity. So if we stand right here, sometimes you have to reset the level, but um, this time it does work. So we have the secret Mushu Monstrosity Ancient Boss right there, and you can tell that it works like a charm. I mean, um, right now, let's just first deal with these bad boys. I'm gonna kill this guy. So we found a regular Gilded Fighters Bindings right there, and uh, the next one actually gets Summoned in the battle right off the bat. So uh, we can kill this one as well. Another casual fighter's bindings. I mean, uh, the gauntlets. Of course, we are going for the fighter's bindings, guys. We want to fight that one. Oh man, this fighter's bindings, which I'm currently using, is so powerful to just destroy these one by one. By the way, if you want to know what the loot is of every single ancient mob, you should check out the video in the top right of the screen. I made one right there with a Google Sheet, which is very helpful for this kind of farming. Look at that! We just find a Fighter's Bindings, guys. And I think the fourth move right there... Oh man, there is so much stuff dropping on the floor. I mean, look at all the items which I just received by uh, killing all these moves. So uh, we killed another one right there for a Katana. Next boss. Oh, another Fighter's Bindings. Oh man, I can't wait to check out the enchantments of these bad boys. Here we go, another one. You can tell that they just keep popping up. I think it's for like um, 12 to 15 waves and then they stop spawning in. And then after that, of course, you just want to reset the level and do this again. Of course, I definitely recommend you to do this on a lower difficulty as well, because right now I can destroy these mobs quite easily. If you do this in the highest Apocalypse Plus difficulty, the ancient bosses, of course, are going to be a pretty big challenge. Wow, look at that, guys. A Ghost Kindler. Very awesome armor. Probably one of the favorite looking uh, armor of mine. Looks really badass. Okay, I think this is going to be one of the last ones. Yep. Yeah. That was it, guys. 
So um, we killed every single ancient mob and um, we found so many items. I mean, look at this, guys. It's pretty crazy. If we just go all the way up, all these gauntlets right here, but then also fighter's bindings. This fighter's bindings has looting, radiance, swirling, shockwave right there, spawns, poison clouds. Of course, the lower the difficulty of your apocalypse is, the lower the built-in enchantment is going to be as well. So definitely be careful with that. So if you want to guarantee a tier three enchantment on it, do it on a higher difficulty. For example, the ghost killer right here has a tier 2 building enchantments than um, the other gilded uh, which I found. Where is it? Actually, let's just go to weapons right here. So um, we found this guy and then we also find this guy. This one has a tier 3 spawn poison clouds. Shockwave, then of course also the exploding, committed. It's not that bad, but at the same time you can just keep doing this to get your hands on pretty much the perfect, unique gilded fighters bindings. But um, right now we're just going to complete the level and go for another run. All right, so here we go. Once again, a artifact. Very awesome. But um, right now I want to get my hands on some Grim Armor. So I'm going to do this on, let's say, Apocalypse level 7 plus 20. Get my chances up for a tier 3 built-in Gilded Enchantment right there. Of course, right here we want to go for the Grim Guardian. This one drops the Grim Armor. And the cool thing is, this is actually the pillar next to the Mushroom Monstrosity, which you can see right there. So uh, we're just going to have to activate it by walking next to it. And here we go. The Grim Guardian is right there pretty tough boss to destroy as well because you have all those um other guys those necromancers shooting those ranged uh, thingies at you it's uh, pretty easy to take them down especially with um, the health regen look at that guys man we finally got him down grim armor right there so um let's go for another spin so yeah, you can definitely tell that the Grim Guardian is an extremely tough cookie with just some speed ring gear. Definitely make sure to bring some decent weapons and armor. So uh, what I'm going to do right now just to showcase this video is do it on a lower difficulty. Let's say Apocalypse level 7 plus 15 once again. Go to take down with... Um I mean, you can definitely tell that this guy is very difficult to take down if you don't have the appropriate loot for it. But um, let's just um, go for it once again, right? You can even bring him to the room right here, but I'm not really sure if that's a good idea. So you can definitely tell that at Apocalypse level 7 plus 20, this guy is very difficult to take down with some with some casual speed ring gear. So I'm just going to return to the camp. So I definitely suggest you to do this on a lower difficulty if you cannot handle it and otherwise just bring some better loot. So um, right now we are on Apocalypse level 7 plus 15, activating this pillar once again, going for that Grim Guardian, guys. Right now he is not able to out heal us and boom, look at that. We found a Hogbrand right off the bat. That's really awesome. And then once again, a Grim Armor. So um, this guy is pretty squishy actually, but... Um, the radiance heals are just pretty crazy. Another Hawk Brand. Wow, man. We just keep finding guild uniques right here. But uh, definitely make sure to destroy these mobs before they start to spawn and get out of hand. I mean, there are so many of them already. Look at that. A diamond sword right there. Titus armor. Another hog brand that's already numero tres. Oh man, this is getting crazy. Let me just quickly uh, use my artifact right here. My, um, where is it? Where is it? Eh, right there, Torment Quiver. So um, right now I should be able to um, shoot these bad boys. Okay, we actually need something with multi shot because this is getting out of hand. Let me just uh, search for a nice range weapon right here. Look at that. We have the um, Winter's Touch. This is perfect. That will just erase it from the map, right? That is a lot better. Woo, sweet baby Jesus. Of course, if you kill these guys constantly, you will get your hands on all those souls. So you just can... Keep uh, destroying them with uh, your dynamo and your torment quiver. Alright, so um, we managed to clean up the battlefield a little bit, but uh, we're just going to keep doing this, right? Okay, I think the waves are over, guys. I think we killed every single one of them. Let me just quickly check out my inventory one more time because, man, we got all these gilded items. You can't believe this. It's just one run. I mean, you can just keep finding them. It's, uh, it's insane. 
And a few seconds later, we are back in the level. So you can definitely tell that um, farming for all those items to sacrifice them at the Ancient Hand Altar is definitely not interesting. I mean, you can just do this. Get your hands on gilded items in no time. Of course, it's a little bit of cheating, but um, I have to be honest, guys. I've been farming for certain items for months and I couldn't find them. I am not going to abuse this tactic either because I already got my hands on all the items I need to get uh, going through the highest apocalypse plus difficulty but um, if you want a certain item or if you want to try out certain builds then I think this mechanic definitely allows you to get those items a lot quicker in comparison with the endless grind which you otherwise have to do Ooh, sweet baby Jesus we finally found some grim armor it took quite some time but um, it was worth the wait guys I mean we've only been doing this for a couple minutes right oh man this is so much worth it look at that once again another unique right there I think it is over Alright, here we go. One last time. Apocalypse level 7 plus 15. Nether Waste. And this time we're gonna push the button of the Pestilent Conjurer, guys, because this bad boy can actually drop the Harp Crossbow. The most wanted rage weapon in the game. For this, we have to take down the Pestilent Conjurer. So, counting from the outside. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Fourth pillar right there. Bam. And just for the sake of this video, I'm gonna equip my Luck of the Sea armor because um, I just want to get those uniques, guys. I am all about the uniques. Alright, look at that. That's already our very first one. Second one, two Whispering Spears in a row, guys. Wow, that's already a very awesome start. Okay, this armor is definitely a lot less interesting to fight with. But uh, wait till I get my Dynamo Quiver up. Bam, look at that. And the cool thing is this guy has so many different items to drop too as well. So um, it's definitely worth farming this bad boy. Ooh, Fortress Spear. We just keep finding uniques, guys. We're extremely lucky right here. Okay, they're literally still liking me, these lads. All right, we got a casual scatter crossbow right there. No harp crossbow just yet. But uh, it's only a matter of time before this bad boy pops up, guys. Heavy crossbow. I think we don't have many more to pop up. Ooh, saber wing, baby. Look at that. Okay, there's another one. Man, they just keep coming. We got a whispering spear right there once again. And another one. Oh, boy. Hawk brand. Oh, boy. I think it's over, guys. Let's uh, clean up the mess right here. Yes. Right now we're standing right in the middle. Beautiful. Look at all these items we just found with one single run. It only takes you a couple minutes, guys, to get your hands on all these gilded items. All right, let's just pick up everything, shall we? Get uh, some um, rares right here, but so many uniques as well, man. Wow, you can find all this stuff. Look at my right side of my screen. So many items right here. Of course, uh, if you are not a big fan of cheating, this video is not for you. But seriously, guys, if we just have a look at my inventory, these are all the gilded items which we found in these couple runs. Then, of course, we also have a couple range right here. Then we have some melee weapons, but these are not all. We have a lot more right there, guys. Wow, look at that. So yeah, in total, you can tell that we have a lot to a chat right now. So yeah, that means a lot of gold, guys. A lot of gold. So right now I am on 9,250 emeralds and um, we also have, let's see, 456 gold bars. Let's just salvage all the stuff which I found, right? I am very curious how much is this is going to give us. Ooh, we found a pretty good one right here, by the way. Look at that, guys. A tier 3 snowball right there. We also have some protection. We have the final shout. We have the bag of souls, so we can get even more souls. It's a pretty decent unique, guys. But um, I'm just gonna get rid of it. I mean, I wanna farm for these myself the real way. Wow, look at that. Red paging tier 2 right there. Of course, also the shockwave, critical hit or swirling, radiance. Very nice diamond swords. Okay, so right now we're at the items which dropped from uh, the little loot pigs. 
So we're almost at the end. Wow, man. My finger hurts of all this salvage clicking. You have no idea. So yeah, I think we started with the Harpoon Quiver as first slot, but right now, guys, look at this. We got 1,331 gold bars and also 14,500 emeralds. So you can definitely tell that this is a pretty crazy run, right? In only a couple minutes, it's definitely a lot more efficient in comparison with the Ancient Hunts. We always have to sacrifice these items and, of course, also invest enchantment points, which are going to be gone forever to get a small chance of finding those Ancient Hunts with, of course, an even smaller chance of finding the gilded items which are unique and then the enchantments oh boy let's not talk about that because it can literally take you years to find the perfect gilded item of course, unfortunately, the Piglin Merchant doesn't reset after completing those Nether Waste levels. You do have to complete a Ancient Hunt itself, so only then you can have a cheaper restock right there. Nevertheless, though, guys, I think you won't need any restocks. You can get plenty of items in no time by using this tactic. Of course, not for cheaters, but um, I think it was a very nice one to showcase. Guys, a big thanks for watching. Very much appreciated if you could just hit that like button for a second if you enjoyed watching this video and of course if you're new to the channel subscribe because there is a lot more minecraft and minecraft dungeons coming your way the server is also going to be up very soon later this month so guys stay tuned the discord link is in the description it wasn't working for a while but right now it finally is again i'll see you guys once again very soon peace